Another question is, any qaza has to be done before next namaz, please clarify. Okay, the question may be like this. For example, if a person missed Salatul, Salatul Dhuhr and this Asr time starts, now what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to pray Asr or is he supposed to pray Dhuhr? So he will pray Asr, then he will pray Dhuhr. And there is another way also. There is another way as well. You can go and join, you can go and join the Jama'ah for example, uh, Maghrib, you miss Maghrib and you got Isha. So you can make Maghrib in the Isha. You can make Maghrib in the Isha. How? There are two ways. You start with the Imam, Allahu Akbar. And when Imam go, gets up to the fourth rakah, you will sit, you will sit back in the third rakah until the Imam finishes with the Taslim and you make Taslim with him. This is one way. Then you Isha, you pray separately. Okay? To follow the Tartim. There is another way of making it. Am I clear about this confusing? Confusing? This thing, listen to me carefully, inshallah. Another way is the Imam gets up for the third rakah, fourth rakah, you will sit in the third rakah, you finish the by yourself. Tashad by yourself. Then you say salam. You get up and join the Imam in the fourth rakah, say Allah Akbar, join the Imam in the fourth rakah. So you will get both the salah in the same jama'ah. And you will, and the Imam sits, finish the you will get one rakah, and the rest of the three rakah you will be praying separately. Am I clear about this? So these are the two prayers, uh, way of praying.